Jerry Saul Rodriguez says, Hey, my sax people. After seven years of playing and four years of not playing, I got myself a tenor sax Paris Beginner Series not too long ago. Any advice or any sort of practice to help my low notes come out easier? Definitely. Hey everybody, it's your fellow neighborhood sax man Alex here. This lovely coffee was sponsored by my mother, Jeanette. Thank you so much, Mom. And if you want to support me and my channel, buy me a coffee. Link is in the description down below. I wanted to create a new sax ed series focusing on the seven fundamentals of practicing saxophone. Now you might ask me, Alex, what are the seven fundamentals of saxophone? Is that even real? My teacher from the University of Miami, Gary Keller, told me that there are seven fundamentals to practicing saxophone, and to practice all of these fundamentals will make you a well-rounded saxophonist for any genre of music, whether it be classical, whether it be jazz, whether it be rock, whether it be pop, you name it, it'll make you a well-rounded saxophonist. So, the seven fundamentals of practicing your saxophone are dexterity, stamina, tone, articulation, range, intonation, coordination. So to help Jerry out, I wanna talk about stamina. When we talk about stamina, what we're really saying is the consistency of playing your notes, whether it be holding them out for a long period of time or going down to the lower range of the saxophone or the higher range of the saxophone and consistently being able to control your notes there. I know especially for tenor sax players that it is very hard to play the lower end of the saxophone because it requires a lot of breath support and a lot of embouchure control. So one of the best exercises that I can give you in order to better improve getting those low notes out easier is overtones. Above anything, overtones allow you to understand how to memorize your armature in those lower notes. So how do you practice overtones? Quite easy, it's not that hard. What I would begin is starting on my highest fundamental note on the saxophone, which happens to be our low F. If you try to finger your low F but jump the octave, essentially what you're doing is playing the overtone. So that's the easy part. The hard part is controlling your transition from high F or middle range F down to your fundamental low note F, okay? So what you wanna do is start out playing, fingering your low F, but playing the high F and going down the octave seamlessly. It has to be a nice flow. And then eventually going chromatically all the way down to low B flat. So I would suggest doing that first. For the more advanced saxophonists, I would suggest starting on the second overtone, which would be if you start on low B flat, it would be that same F. So start on that F, then go down to the middle B flat, and then go down to the low B flat. Now this exercise is going to require a little bit more strength and stamina, of course, for you to be able to hold out that note consistently from the F to the mid B flat, then to the low B flat and the transitions should always be very clear. You shouldn't take a breath in between going from F to B flat. It should just all be one single breath and one single motion from note to note to note. And for the really advanced players, go to the third overtone, which is your high B flat, not the altissimo, but the high B flat on the top end of the saxophone range. If you can do that, transition from the high B flat, then to the F, then to the middle B flat, and then to the low B flat. I know I'm talking a lot, but I will definitely show you right now in a demonstration, so don't worry. Another thing to help out is to do long tone exercises on the lower end of your horn with dynamics. And I've talked about that before, but make sure that you really exaggerate how much you can push on either end of the spectrum, whether it be pianissimo or 44444 tissimo. Stress how much you can control and try to control as much with your air support and your armature. This again will help you memorize how much you need to give in terms of embouchure strength and in terms of air support. So I'm gonna show you how to do these two exercises. So sit back, relax, and I'll see you in a bit.
course, there are other methods and I highly suggest that you check out the book Top Tones for Saxophone by Sigurd M. Rasher. There you can find some really great overtone exercises as well as working on every range of the saxophone, not just the low end. So check that out, Jerry. I hope you like the demonstration and I hope you like the helpful tip. I will be posting more on the seven fundamentals of how to practice your saxophone. So thank you for watching the video and as always don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok for your latest sax ed tips, standards, and beats on Fridays. Stay saxy! TikTok. This lovely Coughly. Coughly.